Good morning, Grade 7 students. Um, kindly stand first for the opening prayer. Um, okay, in the name of the Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, good morning once again. Uh, before you may take your seats, uh, please pick up the pieces of paper under your chair. Um, before we will start our discussion, uh, we will have a recap first. Mr. Saberon, can you do the recap? Okay, very good. So, our topic uh, this morning is all about algebra word problem that involves number. So, uh, before we will define our topic this morning, I will give you first our objectives. So, kindly read our objective. Okay, very good. So, what is algebra word problem? So, it is the questions that require translating sentences to equation, then solving those equations. The equations we need to write will only involve basic arithmetic operations and a single variable that usually the variable represents an unknown quantity in a real life scenario. And I have here a, a question, sample problem, and I will let you to answer this problem. I will give you five minutes to finish it. Okay, your time starts now. One minute left. Okay. It's only five minutes. Who would like to share your answer on the board? Yes, Miss Cahis. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can you explain your answer? Okay, uh, let's see if your answer is correct later on. But before, we will um, check your answer. Um, I will introduce to you a Polyas method. So what is Polyas method? So it is a prescription for solving problems consists of four steps that use the three R's of problem solving, which is request, response, and result, and the verification of the result also. So, understanding the problem, recognizing what is being asked for, and devising a plan. So, again, Polyas method has four steps. For step one, understand the problem. For step two, devise a plan. And for step three, carry on the plan. And for the last step is look back. So, we'll apply this. Uh, we will apply this method. To answer the given uh, the given problem a while ago. Yes. Uh, since our problem, so we will we will read the problem first. So Peter has six times as many dimes as quarters in her piggy bank. She has twenty one coins in her piggy bank. Uh, total in all is two point fifty five dollars. So, what is being asked? How many of each type of coin does she have? Okay. So first, we will step one, understand the problem. So since the problem is, um, Peter has six times as many dimes in the quarter as in the piggy bank. So, no So, for step two, we will devise a plan. So, we will break down the problem. So, um, let x be the quarter and let 6x be the number of dimes. So, since um, uh, uh, since gipangitaam na to siya ang quarters and, and then uh, the dimes is already given which is 6x six, uh, six then for the step 3 carrying out the plan so since one quarter is equal to 25 cents and x is equal to x times 25 cents or 25 x cents 
So since 1 times equal to 10 cents, then 6 times is equal to 6x times 10 cents or 60x cents. So since $1 is equal to 100 cents, and $2.55 is equal to 2.55 times 100 is equal to 255 cents. So the total in all is equal to um, 25x cents plus 60x cents is equal to 255 cents. Then 85x cents is equal to 255 cents. So 85 times uh, divided by uh, 255 divided by 85 is equal to 3. So our x is 3. So therefore, Peter has 3 quarters and 18 dimes. Uh, and for our step 4 is look back. So we will go back to the problem. Okay, Peter has Peter dimes, quarters, and coins has been used, and therefore Peter has 3 quarters and 18 dimes. Um, what do you observe in solving the problem using Polyas method? Yes, it is make it easier and align compared to the manually solve the problem. Yes, di ba? Masayon siya compared sa manually lang. Okay, uh, this strategy, uh, these steps will help you as a guide to come up to the final answer which is uh, very helpful for us para dito mawala, in solve, especially in solving problem. Though we know nga uh, ang pag-solve sa problem is daigit siya sa yun, but if you are going to use this method, mas madali atong pag-solve in yung problem. So, I have here in example number 2. So, let's try to answer this. So, a customer pays $50 for a coffee maker so after a discount of $20. So, what is the original price of the coffee maker? So, again, we will use the four steps. First, understand your problem. So, since the problem is a customer pays $50 for a coffee maker and after a discount of $20. So, that's the problem. So, for step 2, is devising a plan. First, we will break down again the problem. First, we have customer pays $50 and the discount is $20 being asked what is the original price of the copy maker. So, step 3, carry out the plan. So, let x be the original price. x is equal to 20, eh, x minus 20 is equal to 50. So, kani siyang x, mo ni siya ang the original price. Okay, wa matakabalo. So, anon man. So, dapat na siya x. So, therefore, x minus 20 is equal to 50 which is 50 is the original price. Um, therefore, x minus 20 plus 20 is equal to 50 plus 20. So, x plus 0 is equal to 70. So, x is equal to 70. So, for the step 4, look back. So, uh, we will go back to the problem if the given problem is being used. So, the customer pays $50 for the coffee makers and $20 discount after it's being used. So, therefore, x minus 50 is inverse. So, I uh, will transpose negative 50 to the right side. So, it becomes positive. So, therefore, x is equal to 70. Kuha ra? Okay. So, unsa ni pangota na? Okay, wala ra? So, I think, nakasabot na mo sa akong discussion. And, we'll proceed to activity. So, try to answer this question. And, I will give you 10 minutes to finish it. Okay, are you done, class? It, uh, you have two minutes left, so it's already ten minutes. So can you pass your work? And for your assignment, so make your own two realistic algebra word problems and you solve it using Folia's method and do it in your assignment notebook and submit it. It's meeting in. That's all for today, class, and thank you.